If you like this video, please press the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and also give it a thumbs up. A total eclipse of the sun occurs when the moon gets between the earth and the sun such that it casts its shadow on a portion of the earth's surface as illustrated here. The gray area is the path of totality across North America. If you are within it, make sure you get outside to witness this spectacular sight that most people only get to see once in their lifetime. If you are close to it, head into it so you can also catch this spectacular sight. Outside this range, you will still get a partial eclipse, which will still be quite an interesting sight to watch with the proper equipment. The progression of a total eclipse is as shown in this image. Be forewarned that only at totality is it safe to actually look directly at it. Otherwise, you need either special glasses or a pinhole projector. In fact, such tools are excellent if you are outside totality and have a partial eclipse. Here is an example of what the eclipse will look like at totality. This is the only part in which it is safe to look directly at it, because during partial phases, the sun is still just as bright where it is uncovered. Here is a simple and inexpensive pair of eclipse glasses. They can be used to look directly at the sun at any time. Proper use of these glasses will be demonstrated in a later video, and you can find links as to where to acquire pairs of these glasses in the description of this video. Here is an illustration of a pinhole projector. It is a good and actually free way of indirectly observing a solar eclipse. Instructions on building pinhole projectors will be provided in future videos. Between now and the eclipse on April 8th, I will be posting more videos on preparing to watch it. This will include actually creating projectors. After the eclipse, it will include my own observations.